Upon login, you will be presented with a dashboard that features key performance indicators that really can give you a good sense of what's going on in your pharmacy. For example, the number of assessments that were performed or the amount of direct billing to the government. And after creating a new patient or selecting from a roster of existing patients, you can then select a new assessment and then indicate the ailment that the patient is presenting with. You will then be prompted to select whether it's an in-person or virtual visit and then screen for eligibility and appropriateness of the service, ensuring that the pharmacist is aligned with all provincial regulations. So the interaction will take you through the five steps of the pharmacist patient care process, which is shown here on the left-hand side with a progress bar for each step. And while MapFlow provides clinical pearls and just-in-time learning with these tool tips here, subscribers of the eCPS can directly link to the corresponding chapter with one simple click. On the social history page, it demonstrates how the platform helps you really customize the care plan for the patient by asking things that are patient specific. So for example, smoking status, if the patient indicates that they are a heavy smoker defined in the tooltip as consuming a pack or more per day, then it will prompt smoking cessation in the care plan and in the follow up. If the patient reports signs and symptoms that are consistent with another ailment, which could be managed via OTC consultation rather than a minor ailment service, then that will be flagged for that pharmacist. So if no red flag signs or symptoms or differential diagnoses are present, the pharmacist is then prompted to select from a list of first and second line agents that fall within the scope of provincial guidelines. So that means listing the AHF best classifications for each agent underneath that particular ingredient. So Health Canada approved dosing for each agent is auto-populated in these fields right here. However, the pharmacist may select or modify based on their professional or clinical judgment. The counseling points are customized to the minor ailment that has been selected and the specific care plan that has been selected as well. The pharmacist has the ability to flexibly generate the prescription and it would all appear here under that pharmacist's name and license number. In addition, the pharmacist can generate documentation that's specific to that assessment for the given patient. This documentation can be shared with the primary care provider and or the patient. Once the assessment is complete, the pharmacist will see that that patient and the date for which follow-up should occur will appear right there on the dashboard. On the follow-up page, there will be a list of five or six questions that ask about the safety and effectiveness of the care plan, as well as any atypical signs and symptoms that may have presented. 